Builders, and today we're going to be talking about text buttons in Roblox Studio. So I'm going to be specifically talking about how to detect if someone has clicked a button. So without further ado, let's start this video. Make sure you have a screen GUI, a local script, and a text button before starting. We're going to go to experiments go here because we're going to be doing some experiments. Local text button, script.parent text button. That's what how we're going to be getting the text button in a variable. Next, we're going to be doing we're going to be making a detection script or detection function here. So, text button dot mouse button one down. I've ne I know that you guys never seen this before. That's what I'm going to be mainly talking about today. So, connect to function and print hello. So, what is mouse button one down? So this is made up of several little pieces, like sort of like puzzle pieces. When you put them together, you get the actual thing. So it's broken down into these parts. Mouse, button one or button two, we'll explain that too, down. So they're broken up into these pieces. So mouse is the mouse. Button one is which button on your mouse, right click or left click, and down is if it's or down or whatever it's going to be down up clicked you know we'll be explaining that as well is if of how it's going to detect what part of the click is it detecting so now let's go up to click detectors to get more information so how they work so mouse as i explained the mouse itself and one or two so left click is one right click is two so now these are some kinds of detection uh, methods. If it's detecting if the mouse is pushed down, or if it's detecting if it's let go, or if it's getting clicked. So down is when the mouse is pushed down. So it's not just detecting a click like this, it's only detecting for this part. I'm not letting it go by the way. But for up, it's detecting if the button is let go. It's not detecting this, it's not detecting this, but it's detecting when I let go like this. Just let go by the way. Um, so clicked, it needs both of those. So it needs like a regular click to actually detect. So we're going to test those out so that you can understand of what I mean. So let's go back down here and we're going to do, we're going to leave that mouse button one down. So since it's one, we're doing a left click. And since it sits down, we're detecting if it's pushed down. So if we wait a little second for it to load, oh, oh, oh. let's do a zoom. Mm. There we go. Okay, I had a little error there. Let's close these things out. Yeah, it looks fine. Click. It says hello. So if I if, to explain that it doesn't detect if I lift it up, I'm gonna hold down away from the button and then move to it and let go. It didn't print anything. But if I hold down, I didn't let go yet. Uh -oh. I, I'm still holding down, by the way, and it's detected it. But if I let go now, it doesn't detect anything since it's only looking for the down. So if we switch that to up after this closes out, um, we're going to do change this to up. One, two, three. Oops. Control Z. Meant to go here. Oops. Okay, I think this is right. Just making sure. Made a lot of mistakes there. Anyway, mouse button went up. Load, load, load. Oh, zoom. These things are a little bit annoying. Okay, so if I push down, it doesn't show anything in the output, but once I let go, then it shows a low. So it only detects if I let go. I could do a click as well. It's because I'm letting go as well. It, that's why it's showing that I've let go 12 times now. So if we get out, we can try out clicked. So it needs both a down and an up. So let's go here and delete up and replace it with click. So it says mouse button one click. So if we wait for that to load, of course. Okay. Guess I'm guessing that was for debugging, but our scripts are always okay. 
so if we do a left click and if we only hold down it does do no it doesn't do anything but since I did both it showed that makes it look like a mouse button went up but to prove that it's specifically looking for both I'm gonna hold down here and let go here it doesn't do anything but if I hold down here and let go here it doesn't it still doesn't do anything the reason why is because it needs both a down and an up to detect it so I hope click on uh, the click one also makes sense sorry for background noise it's because there's some construction going on um but now uh, we're gonna try out some parameters so x and y so we're gonna be putting those inside of here x comma y oops so now we have mouse button one click and we're gonna be connecting it to a function so when we click and once it detects it then it's gonna grab those x and y coordinates of where we clicked and it's gonna print it out the way we're gonna make it print it out is by using print so we're gonna do print brackets and we're gonna print x and y so we're gonna do x dot dot y but we also have to add these little quotation marks for space so that the numbers are spaced out so we can see sorry for the noise again um, anyway we have x and y so it's going to show the x and y coordinates once we have clicked so now I'll actually load it now uh, sorry for background noise you click oh error okay of course we can fix it okay okay uh, maybe just I'm going to try only doing y for now to make sure that this thing is actually detecting you know um, yes okay it's still not working okay what did I do wrong hmm next y yep it's detecting oh right okay I made this mistake before in one of my retakes um, it has to be a down or an up it can't be detecting a click as you could be holding down in one d spot and then letting go in the other spot of the button so then it wouldn't work so we have to do either a down or an up that's why it didn't work now we can do both since now I remember what I did wrong I'm gonna do some quotation marks and I'm gonna add space and now it will work as now it isn't having an error so if we click down it gives us the coordinates as well. Not only saying hello, but it's showing 51 and 153. You may notice that this is only like a 60 by 60 button here. So how in the world could it actually give numbers like 551? That's because it's showing from here, like the left side of your screen for the X coordinate, uh, all the way to the other side. It's not just measuring from the button, but from here to here and from for Y up and down. That's why. So that's how it can show such big numbers. So now that I've explained that, that is the end for our video today. Hopefully I can get out a new short so that you guys can have some funny entertainment for the day. And hopefully this time I show the Roblox Wiki if you want to learn more. Um, if I don't, you can always search it up on Google, of course. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video and I'll see you guys next Sunday or possibly on a live stream if that comes out. Bye!